Hello students, dear uh, viewers. Uh, in this crisis situation, uh, of due to the coronavirus crisis, I am planning to start a uh, online classes on switchgear protection that is basically intended for uh, diploma engineering students for my college and all other interesting students for diploma in engin electrical engineering. So I will be starting with uh, today's lecture for protection purpose. Uh, the first, uh, so the notes you can see in the uh, screen I have uh, and I, will I have already given. I will also share this link in the description file and also um, the syllabus also I will give in the description file. So the first topic that uh, I would like to start today that is uh, regarding fault analysis and various faults that occurs in our uh, power system. So I will be starting with first uh, protection part although it is switchgear and protection, switchgear I will come later. So what is fault? Any system that is always uh, whatever the system is it is always subjected to fault and uh, so in power system basically if we see uh, it is written in the notes you can also see the faults occur so when uh, there is a abruption uh, abrupt in the current flowing or, or basically uh, two conductors they are operating in potential difference they come in contact with each other or with ground something short of this so um, here you can see something is given uh, in the notes that is symmetrical and symmetrical before going that uh, i will be doing something extra than uh, what is written in these uh, notes so if you uh, i will i will do it some work in my copy i will try to shun faults and series faults Uh, what is shunt faults? Shunt faults means uh, shunt from the name itself you can think that uh, some parallel path. So already current is flowing in a path. Uh, suppose this is my transmission line, current is flowing in this direction. So if you create a another path to this line that becomes a shunt fault. So basically all your faults becomes this one. Suppose a line is this is a, a phase line and it is touching a ground. So if we say it is line to ground fault. So it is current will be flowing through this, current will be flowing through this, both this portion. But as this is directly connected to ground, so resistance will be very small, so maximum current will pass through this and very negligible currents will pass through this. So that is why we say this is the fall current. So, so another path is created, that is why it is known as shunt fall current. And series fall current, suppose a conductor is there and it is snapped, snapped means it is disconnection is there but it is not touched any ground so this type of fault doesn't create so much uh, panic in the system but eventually if the if the wire is uh, snapped and it is fallen in the ground so finally it will again become a shunt fault so what i was uh, what is given in the uh, notes that is all due to your uh, all about shunt faults you can see two categories you can describe it uh, that is symmetrical faults and unsymmetrical faults. So symmetrical and unsymmetrical again in symmetrical faults it is more about uh, in symmetrical faults it is more about symmetry. Symmetry in the nature means already system was in uh, running in uh, balanced condition all the phase voltages, phase currents all are okay and after the fault also the system remains in balanced condition also, although the magnitudes of uh, currents will increase but uh, the uh, phasor displacement uh, between the phases that will remain same that is 120 120 120 and in unsymmetrical it will the orientations of the phasors will change itself but strictly speaking uh, in in physical world uh, in physical practice symmetrical faults are uh, it will happen only if the system is symmetry. If the system is in normal condition, is not in symmetrical, then after fault it will not be in symmetrical. So in normal power system operation, majority of the system, systems never comes to symmetry. It is not possible that every time it is accurately 180, 120, 120 apparate, 120, 120 distance between them. So 
so there will be difference in the symmetrical faults and in unsymmetrical faults broadly classify if you do it then it is lg this is line to ground double line to ground llg ll this type of so symmetrical faults you can see in the symmetrical faults it is written a fault uh, current ia ib ic all will be equal in magnitude because of the balance of nature on all the three faults are connected they are short circuited that is the fixture that is given here is triple l fault second one will be your triple lg fault l l l g fault all the lines will be there a b c and all will be connected they are shorted and then it is connected to ground so it is triple lg fault and there will be lg lg you can see this is already lg fault i have discussed one line ground if two lines ground connected then it is double lg so in that case that becomes unsymmetrical faults so symmetrical and unsymmetrical that one you have already seen symmetrical and unsymmetrical uh, so broadly classified into these two categories but if you go in details you will find that again there are 11 types of faults that is also not there in the notes uh, 11 types of something extra than the notes i will try to give here so 11 types of faults what is 11 types of faults? It is nothing but if you like, uh, suppose there are three phases A, B, C. So if I write the fault, one is A, G, B, G, C, G, means A to ground, B to ground, C to ground. In, in LL fault, you will find again A, 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 B fault, B, C fault, A, C fault. So 6 is already there. Then in uh, A, B, G fault, LLG fault. This is LG, this is LL, this is LLG, ABG, BCG, and then you will find ACG. These are the faults. So in triple L, so now we are getting it. Na? In triple L, it is ABC fault, and triple LG, it is ABCG. ABCG. This is ABC fault. So you can see 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 plus 2, 11 faults. So uh, for that symmetry and unsymmetry nature, for that I will try to uh, draw a brief phasor diagram analysis so that you can have a better understanding between why, why it is this, why it is so, how it is look like. Suppose uh, I will draw the phasor diagram for each category, 1 and 1. So if you see mm, the LG fault, uh, sorry, the first I will go for the symmetry one that is triple L fault. If it is a triple L, that means all your phase that is already is in this uh, 120, 120, 120 separate. So, because it is triple L fault, that means all the three phases are connected. So, the, the magnitudes, wherever the fault occurs, suppose here faults occurs, the voltage magnitudes here become very less because the resistance is very small. So, current into resistance negligible. So, V is equal to IR. So, this voltage will be very small, very small voltage that fault voltage. So, whichever phase the fault occurs, that phase voltage reduces very much. Because it, it is three phases, so all three will be reduced simultaneously. So, the new phasor diagram will be something this of this form. So, this is the new phasor diagram, BC voltage. So, all they the, this one, the bigger outer diagram, this one was the before fault and this is after fault. So, it remains symmetry. Again, there is a symmetry. This is the earlier AB phase, this is earlier BC, this is line voltage is earlier. So, all these and the new these are same. Now, suppose this is LG fault, how will be the scenario like? Suppose the fault is in A phase, phase A. So, the A phase will be only get reduced. So, this one will be A phase. So, this is will be your B and C will remain same. So, the new phasor diagram will look like this. So, you can see the earlier now this triangle that is formed it is not at same. So, this is A phase. A phase magnitude is reduced. This is B phase and this is C phase. So, if there is a fault in A phase and if I assume the fault is inductive then the current will be lagging the voltage by an angle of 90 degree. So, this will be somewhere the fault current IF, fault current of that fault if you draw the phasor diagram of that. 
Similarly, you can try for LL fault also. Suppose if I consider it is AB fault, A phase, B phase, C phase. So, AB fault. So, A and B will get reduced now. And what will be the fault voltage? Because it is between A and B. So, the fault voltage A phase and B phase, these are connected to each other. This is the fault. Suppose A phase, B phase. So, what is this voltage? V A B voltage. So, this is my fault voltage. So, fault voltage will look like this. And if I assume the fault is inductive purely, so the fault current is 90 degree lagging that voltage. So, you can see that your symmetry nature is, this was the early, early symmetrical positions. Okay. Now, everything has changed. The figure has been distorted here. So, you can think of that LL, LL uh, sorry, this is LLG. This was, this was for LLG. Simple LL, it will be always lying on the same line again. If I go for LL, LL, this is ABG, forgive me. This is AB, suppose A phase, B phase and C phase. So, it will be, this was the early AB. So, AB structure remains same, but the magnitude reduces. This is AB. This is new VA, new VV and this will be the new VAB. So, the fault current will be going lines. Difference between these and this, here also this is AB, VAB, but here it is reduced very more than this. Here it is reduced this much and here it is reduced this to again this is, this is shrinking. If I go below, then it will, it will shrink. So, because why it is more shrinking? Because the ground is there. Gra because ground is there, fall current will be, uh, the resistance will be very small. So, the voltage drop will be very small. So, this will again further reduce. So, bring down this one. So, this is all about the phasor diagram. So, from here you can see that is why the phasor diagram was missing in the notes. So, I thought it will be good for you to understand uh, how the scenery changes after the falls. So, I will leave it today up to this much.